The very first change you'll see is the new liquid glass design and that's seen when you first unlock your watch. So can you see this liquid bubble <laughs> array of numbers? Cool, so let's enter our password. Then if you swipe down from your control center, you can kind of see the bubbly effect and your notifications on your control center. It is a bit slow, I don't know if you can see the lag, but there's a little bit and that's strictly because it's on the beta the menu looks normal same bubbles so i wouldn't say the watch is totally redesigned there's just a few glassier design changes you can see here and there so you can kind of see the stack is a little bit see-through anyway moving on there's something called workout buddy it's basically like an ai assistant that gives you real-time encouragement like you're close to closing your rings etc etc it's powered by apple intelligence it's like having a trainer on your wrist they say but I'll give you an example so cool let's open up and you can kind of see the workout watch app is changed as well so I don't really like this orientation because to find your workout it just seems like it's a bit more work perhaps they could make it smaller or something I don't know but this is just what the workout app looks like let's say I want to do a cool down workout can you see this it's like an alert button enable that my workout buddy will tell me things along my journey <laughs> and then it will alert you if your heart rate goes beyond or below a certain point stuff like that and time alert you'll receive an alert at each multiple of the time you set during your workout so you can enable that as well if i go to high intensity interval training here i can have my workout buddy and here you can choose different voices so here's voice one way to get your workout started voice two way to get your Workout started. Voice three. Way to get your workout started. Way to get your workout started. I think I prefer the second one, so let's go for that. And then here, same heart rate, time, and target alert. So this is what it would sound like. Maybe because I'm not moving, <laughs> it's not talking to me, but sometimes i'll even hear the workout buddy come through my phone speakers instead of my apple watch but you know what i mean have fun with it but let me stop this now because it yeah this doesn't look good <laughs> these stats don't look good so depending on the workout you do you can have your workout body but as you can see it's not for every single workout on the apple watch hopefully it will come to more further down the line pause have you liked the video have you subscribed i'll wait okay let's resume thank you moving on there is a wrist flick gesture so basically when you get a notification or a call or something you can just do this to your wrist and it will flick the notification away so you're basically dismissing any alerts or calls no taps are needed which is really nice the only problem is it's only compatible on the apple watch series 9 10 and apple watch ultra 2 so this is the apple watch ultra original which is really annoying because what are you trying to say this is old or something i don't agree at all i think they should have brought it to the apple watch ultra original so i'm really upset about this because when i was trying to do this practice the feature wasn't working so really angry but yeah <laughs> moving on you have a smarter smart stack <laughs> so for example here i have my phone i'm going to open the camera app let's say all right so that's there my watch you can see a little prompt at the bottom for me to open up the camera and here's a nice explanation of this so a hint on a watch face now appears when a high value suggestion is available in the smart stack Let's exit that and open the camera and then here it's just as usual and i like this feature because sometimes i actually forget that i can control the camera for my watch <laughs> so it's just nice that this is here as a nice reminder and a similar thing will happen do you see that i closed the app here and it closed there really cool <laughs> didn't know that <laughs> but another example is i go to the gym my watch recognizes my location it knows i go there all the time opens up the workout app as a prompt similar to how you saw the camera etc etc if you go to specific locations often you might see a cheeky little icon at the bottom popping up like that do i really do like that you have live translations in iMessage so for example let's say somebody is speaking in a different language <laughs> it will have the live translation underneath it which is nice incoming texts show in your language and your reply auto translates so let's say this in here is english but i actually speak spanish 
the Spanish would be underneath here and let's say I respond in Spanish to that person they're gonna see the English really cool next the notes app is finally on your Apple watch here is your notes app you click on it you can see the things everything in your notes can you edit your notes no you can't edit your notes but what you can do is create a new one and dictate to it or swipe or use your keyboard however you'd like let's say you just need to capture something quickly you can just do that here on your wrist click done and then that's now in your notes <laughs> really cool the phone app has also been redesigned so this is what it looks like when you first enter it here you can see your contacts and your recent call lists here you'll be able to filter your calls and here you have your whole keypad you can add numbers here oh really nice there's some different features for accessibility live listen and call screening so you can see a transcription snippet live or hold assist call for better accessibility you have audio from live listen can show captions on watch and calls can screen or warn you when you're on hold really good i actually haven't used that feature yet maybe let me call my phone company and see you know what i mean <laughs> if it works and how it works and i'll hopefully get Get that on camera you also have auto volume adjustment your watch now senses background noise and changes notification volume so you don't blast people or miss something when it's quiet let's say you're in a quiet meeting an alarm goes off it will be a little bit quieter perhaps or when you're in a noisy environment your alarm will ring louder so your watch can obviously you know when you get those notifications you're in a loud environment etc etc so your watch can actually hear this stuff already so it's a cool feature i haven't actually used that feature yet but it's there i briefly showed you the control center at the start of this video but now you can have custom control toggles your control center now supports third-party app controls like camera apps and you can map them to your ultra action button right here so let's go into our settings scroll down to action button right now i have mine set to a short cut but you can have something that says control and then your control can be whatever you choose it to be you have a few more not a lot but you have a few more things you can pick here but here in the control center you can see there's a little bit more things going on you can edit it down here let's change from airplane here add up here and here look at all of the different features you can have cute i'll just put that back and click done and we're good to go i want to see what this does actually oh you can quickly adjust your font from the control center now nice so that is basically all the top new things for your apple watch of course there's some more accessibility features but other than that that's about it do you know what i mean now the question is should you download watch os 26 developer beta or public beta when it finally comes out mm, i don't know it's not that buggy but it's a bit slow but that could be because it's an original ultra but surely it can't be classed as old i really don't like the fact that this is now classed as old I hate that for me oh another glassy feature anyway the thing is you can do it but because there's not that much going on on the watch it's not really worth the trouble because the thing is with the betas when a new one comes out you want the bug fixes or the battery life or the speed of certain apps opening to improve over time so you kind of want to stay up to date on being on the latest betas so the fact that you have to do that every couple of weeks for something that doesn't have many features on it i don't know if it's worth it but feel free to do you know what i mean should you update upgrade or whatever to watch os 26 when it comes absolutely you should but only if you have one of the new apple watches we don't want your apple watch to slow down just because of some bubbles do you know what i mean <laughs> but yeah let me know if you're going to be downloading the beta or you're going to wait until september which is less than two months away now so do you know what i mean also don't forget to follow me on tiktok and instagram i'll link it on the screen but thank you so much for watching don't forget to like subscribe subscribe like bye